Well, welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword is with you once again. And we've got a new one from Petrified Fish. I got this through Amazon. So it came directly from Petrified Fish. Took a little bit to get here, a few weeks. But it is interesting. It is another design by Nazhorn. And there is his logo, the rhinoceros. Um, it is a front flipper, and it is called the Viking. The first thing that struck me about this knife was not so much the looks as the simplicity and the ergos. It fits the hand quite well, and I like that blade shape with that straight back kind of utility blade, but narrowing near the tip. And uh, high flat grind, um, interesting kind of a, it becomes kind of a swedge. Well, not really a swedge there. It's kind of where the fuller comes right out onto the uh, back of the spine. Now, um, I believe this one is K110. For some strange reason, I don't see it anywhere on the blade. Here you can see the name of the knife, Nazhorn Design Viking, okay, right on the pivot, petrified fish there. Uh, but I'm thinking this one is K110. All right, I went off camera for a bit and came back here, and it is K110. So really strange that um, it's not on the blade. So uh, we could say it is a very lowly billboarded knife. Very, very simple and plain. Um, you can see Nazhorn's logo, as I said, on the clip. It is deep carry. And it is not switchable. That's an interesting thing. Usually we got switchable clips, but it's very nicely done. It's inset into the handle with flat-headed screws. Zero drag. Very nice. We've got a uh, blue micarta, kind of a... Um, what you call kind of a canvas micarta. Got a nice, um, people have been asking me, you know, what's the, are the handles slippery and on this one or on that one? No, this has got a nice drag to it. I think it's just enough. It's smooth, but it's definitely not slippery. You can hear that it's got uh, some texture to it there. So um, what we're gonna do first is do a quick measure up and then we're gonna cast it against some others both from Nazhorn's designs and other petrified fish knives. We've got about an 8.3 overall. And we got a blade coming in uh, at a pretty healthy, I would call it like a 365. You probably call it a 366. <laughs> um, blade stock in millimeters, thin but not too thin, 3.3 millimeters. And that comes out to 0.13 inches. Across the handle, 0.53, so pretty close to half an inch. And weight, pretty light. We'll check it out. We'll check the weight relieving in a moment. Yeah, 3.88 ounces. Not bad, not bad at all. And does it have weight relieving um, looks like it does these are coming in around 50 bucks see if i can leave you a link oh yeah plenty of weight relieving which is what's keeping it under four ounces so we're pretty close to an ounce per inch on this knife you know if it was just a fraction of an inch longer i think we would hit it straight on so if you're looking for a light knife that's um it's got a pretty good lock up rock tight very very nice got a um, hidden lanyard pin very nice got a backspacer also of micarta pretty narrow clip and um, not sharp can't feel it in the palm at all in the right hand and a very useful blade, EDC sort of blade, 
nice slicer and um, I think I'll refrain from doing any paper cutting but it's a flat grind it is high and we have relatively thin blade stock so if it's not sharp to your liking right out of the box easily remedied just strop them is what I usually do on a factory edge I think it was Jared Neve that said uh, uh, the first step, if your knife gets a little bit dull, is to strop it. The next step would be put it on a ceramic rod or a ceramic stone and then strop it. And that's worked well for me. And then occasionally, you know, I'll need to put it on the TS Prof or uh, Work Sharp, what have you, and uh, sharpen it up. And I will say it's got a tight detent, okay? It is right in there, clicky tight. You can hear that. So you need to commit. And I'm not a big front flipper person, but I can do it. And you should be able to do it too. And that's evidently going to break in over time. Plenty of handle to hold. Um, got some very decent jimping there. Not overly aggressive, but not smooth. And if you like to lay your thumb on the back of the spine like I do, it's perfect. You got plenty of real estate there. A real nice knife. I haven't heard much about it from other reviewers, but um, I'm liking it so far. Well, here's another one by Nashorn. Here is the Beluga Tonto. This crazy, crazy wide in the front Tonto. Kind of fashioned after the original Beluga, but with that uh, chisel grind at the front. Right about the same length, but much taller in the handle than the Viking. Then we have another V knife from Petrified Fish. And this is the Victor. And that is kind of a Bowie clip. And this one has both a back flipper, nice and muted, as well as a provision made on this, uh, what would it be, the right side of the knife with a fuller put there experience Expressly for middle finger flicking. So you can spidey flick this one beautifully all day long. Comes in a lot of varieties of colors. So does the, uh, the Viking. And uh, this one, probably should have used my gray background. I've got all black blades today. Um, yeah, same size. They like that length. Same blade, same overall. And here's a crazy one. This is the 969. You may or may not have seen this one. Um, this is a beast of a knife. Very heavy, thick. Well, I wouldn't call it heavy overall, but the blade is definitely uh, beasty. And that is a little bit longer. Slightly longer blade. More handle. Got a lot more handle on this one. Comes with a little uh, lanyard there in the slot. Um, brown micarta. No, brown G10. And see now this one, you've got the steel right there, K110. So there's two ranges of um, petrified fish knives. There's a $35 range and a $55 range. You can get a lot of knife for $55 from them. Um, one of the first ones I really got uh, attracted to in the uh, petrified fish line is the Warrior. And then later the Beluga. And I've got probably 15 different. <laughs> petrified fish knives. I got to get rid of a few of them. But beautiful light EDC knife is the Viking. Uh, definitely recommended. It um, has a nice blade to handle ratio. My God, it comes right out, all the way out, all the way out to there. But no, you can't pick it up, which is beautiful. So they did it a lot of things right. Personally, I wish it had a back flipper, but um, I know Nashorn likes his front flipper uh, setup, and so that's what he did on this one. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of quick overview of the Petrified Fish Viking. Nope. Yep. Viking. <laughs> I can't remember if they're a victor or a Viking, but maybe it's a Viking that's a victor. <laughs> 
All right, you all be well, and I'll be back with more reviews coming up real soon.